tell you this morning about Diedrich Bonhoeffer. He was born in 1906 in Germany. He came of age at a time when the Nazi party was as well. Bonhoeffer was a man that came to love the church of Jesus Christ. And he was a student of God's word. He was arrested in 1943 by the Gestapo. He was sent ultimately to Flossenburg, where they would hang him just days before the Allied forces reached that camp. A lot has been written about the life of Bonhoeffer, about how he was willing to speak truth to the church when he looked at the church in 1930s and 40s Germany and said, this isn't right, the church should be standing up. And then he looked to the government and he looked and spoke truth to power of the Nazi government. A lot has been written and most of it has been summarized with, with these two observations, that Bonhoeffer had a love for the church of Jesus Christ and he was a student of God's word. It was said of Bonhoeffer in a biography that was written about a decade ago that Bonhoeffer was able to be the man that he was because of those who had gone before him. And the author said that Bonhoeffer was not only able to stand on the shoulders of those who had gone before him, but indeed he was able to dance. At College Side, we experience a similar rich history as Bonhoeffer did. People who have gone before us and who have who have made this church what it is. I'm thankful that more than six decades ago, a group of men and women decided that there needed to be an outpost of the kingdom of heaven on the campus of Tennessee Tech. And because of that decision, it's interwoven into our church's DNA, a mission mindset, a mindset geared towards Tech's campus and geared towards other ministries that are, that are just as active. I think like that decision that was made, I think we have a decision in 2022 that can be just as transformative for our church. Join the Journey College side. We'll begin January 1 of this next year. So what is Join the Journey? Like we do every year, we're going to have a, a daily Bible reading. It'll be two to three chapters. It'll track with what we're talking about on Sunday mornings or Wednesday nights. But what will be different this year with Join the Journey is that in addition to every morning you're receiving a daily Bible reading, you'll also be receiving a daily devotional. And the cool part about this is that daily devotional is going to be written by you, the College Side family. So our desire is to have 365 different people step up and say, I can do this. I'll write a devotional for our church family so that as we journey together through first the Gospel of Luke and the Gospel of Matthew, and then as we go to Isaiah, that we, that we journey together not only through Scripture but through each other's experiences of having scripture inform our lives. You, you, you can go to uh, jointhejourneycollegeside.org or you can go to College Side's website and it links through there. There you'll find two buttons. The first button says, I wanna join the journey. You can sign up to get the daily Bible reading and daily devotional uh, by text or by email every day. And there's a second button. It says, I'm interested in being a daily devotional leader. We need 365 daily devotional leaders to make Join the Journey work. Now, if you click that button, I want to assure you, you're not automatically committed. You don't have, you don't have to do it. Just click the button. We're going to help you. You've got, we've got resources. The Join the Journey team has put together a, team, a, a, a package of resources to help you in this so that you're not doing this alone. But, but we'll send you some information. And you can decide if, in fact, that's something that you want to do. Who's this for? If you were here the first day that College Side was opened its doors, and I think we've got a few still maybe, this is for you. You've got, a, you've got a story to tell of God's faithfulness through the years. But if you walked through those doors for the first time 15 minutes ago, join the journey is definitely for you as well. Teen Side, this is for you. We want you to join the journey. You guys see and experience things that some of us won't know anything about. We want you to join the journey. UCSC, we want you to join the journey. Um, heart moms, heart sisters, this is for you. You guys have a perspective that some of us can't ever understand. We want you to join the journey. Men, we're called to lead. This is a chance to step up and to lead. We want you to join the journey. If you're here in this room, we want you to join the journey. And if you're watching online at home, especially for you, we want you to join the journey as well. If you're professionally trained 
and you've been to Bible school or you've been to seminary, this is a chance for you to use the gifts and the talents that you have been training on to encourage the rest of us. This is for you. Join the journey. But if you feel wholly inadequate, as I know many of us do, to undertake something like writing a thought and, and leading this, this, our family's thoughts uh, in a daily devotional, this is for you as well. You can do this. If that happens to be you, if you feel wholly inadequate, I ask you to do one thing. Would you, for the next two weeks, would you just pray and just ask God, God, how would you choose to have me participate in the journey? That's all we're asking you to do. Go to the website. You can click it. We'll send you some information. And then just pray, God, how would you have me participate and join the journey? 365 devotionals for next year. Just a moment of candor. This seems, uh, to some, this seems insurmountable. If we had, and we've got about 800 people who are here and online, if we had 365 people participate, that would be one of the highest uh, ministries that we have participation in here at College Side. Sometimes it seems insurmountable, but then we read Romans 4. Romans 4, Paul is talking about Abraham who believed and it was credited to him as righteousness, and he describes God this way, the God in whom Abraham believed. It says, he who gives life to the dead and calls into existence the things that do not exist. I think if some of us are honest, we would say that our daily commitment to scripture reading does not exist. And our prayer is join the journey and, and the college side ministry team is that, is that God would speak into existence things that don't yet exist. You have a story that can encourage and uplift this family. We're not asking you to, to bear your soul and to tell your whole story. In fact, we want you to do it in 300 words or less. But we do know that each one of you have experiences in your life that has informed how you read Scripture and how Scripture then affects your life. And we ask you to share that. Some, some of you have dealt with depression. Others have just lived a joy-filled life your whole, your whole life. You've got a story to tell. We want you to join the journey. Some of you deal with fear. Some of you, your whole lives, you've been fearless. Some, it's alcoholism. Others, you're on the road to recovery. Some, you, deal, you d struggle daily with doubt and whether, whether you even believe what we're talking about every Sunday. This is for you. Join the journey. Some of you are, everything's clicking in your faith walk. This is for you to join the journey. So I had the good fortune of growing up at College Side and... Um, benefiting my entire life of those who had gone before us here and made it what it is. And one of the men who had a great impact on me was Mike Pott. And Mike uh, baptized me when I was 13, but he always told us there were two words we needed to keep available in our mind, that we needed to keep at the front of our minds, and that was to be available. And that's all that we're asking you to consider. We're not asking you to be the best. We're not asking you to be the most fluent or the, the most articulate. We're just asking you, would you be available to make this church family strengthened, to grow your love and commitment to the Word of God? Because we can have the best programs. We can have the most vibrant college ministry and teen ministry, and, and uh, we can be you know, feeding record numbers of people. But if we aren't rooted in a love of the church of Jesus Christ, and if we aren't daily established in his word, it's all rubbish. So may it be said of us that because we were people who had a love for the church of Jesus Christ and a commitment to his word, that those who came after us were not only able to stand upon our shoulders, but indeed they were able to dance. Go to jointhejourneycollegeside.org, sign up. Let's do this. Let's go, church.